anti army, bro. Shut up, Free. <laughs> right now on the DSP Throwback channel, we've got three ongoing things going on. First of all, today, well, I think it was actually yesterday, the final part of my three part series, DSP reacts to his biggest videos on YouTube ever, went live. This is only three episodes, so it's like hour and a half. And we go through about nine or 10 videos from my past, the biggest ones, the ones with millions and millions of views. And we kind of try to analyze what is it particularly about these videos that made them so popular on YouTube to hit the algorithm right. But another fascinating thing about this three-part series is that you realize I've been around for 16 years and essentially the things that I've done in those 16 years, a lot of them were innovative and the things that became popular on YouTube. Like my initial clips, were YouTube Shorts. They just weren't called YouTube Shorts 16 years ago, but they were just gameplay snippets highlighting a part of a game. They weren't a big, giant chunk of gameplay. My co-op with John Rambo back in the day was so innovative that it inspired many others to do entire long-form co-op series and channels, okay? That kind of stuff. So, give it a look. I think you'll like those three videos. The other thing that's currently going on is on Sunday night, I did a stream, a retro react stream to the Walking Dead Telltale series, uh, season one, episode one. It went really well on the stream. People were engaged. They had a lot of fun with it and they want to see it continue. So <clears throat> basically I would like you to give it a look if you're interested in narrative based games, especially if you never saw this play through 12 years ago. Uh, people had a great time with it and it's a five parter. Two parts were live. I think a third part goes live tonight. It's every night at 10 p.m. a new part goes live on the channel, so it'll be up to five by Thursday night, okay? Um, but the other big thing, and this one I'm proud of, I'm excited for, and I hope you will check out, Fallout 3, my original 2008 playthrough, my first ever RPG playthrough on YouTube that got it started and got people to see me want to play more long-form games, is now live, part one that is, is live on DSP Throwback. It went live this morning at 10 a.m., this features widescreen visuals instead of the original crushed sideways visuals, full 1440p HD, full 60 frames per second, more sharpness in the text so you can read it better, although admittedly, the camera has an autofocus issue, and I don't think that I fixed that issue for a while in the playthrough, so you're gonna notice in the many first parts the camera focuses and unfocuses and focuses again. I can't fix that. That's obviously because my equipment, I was so primitive back then, but that does get better in time. 30-minute um, parts instead of 10-minute parts. Proper thumbnails and proper titling of the parts to make it digestible and understandable, and this will be going into a new playlist. And I think it's going to be awesome to finally re-experience this playthrough uh, in a modern way, because the original playthrough, a lot of people really, really like to this day and still rewatch. but my God, it's harder to watch every time. It's so outdated. Um, this will be neat to re-experience it in a different way. So I would love for you to watch this first part and give me your thoughts. So, uh, many have already left comments on the video saying, wow, can't believe it, that it's back and it looks like this. I, I agree, it blew me away when I saw this video. Keep in mind, this is a lot of work. My editors are working a lot to get this playthrough up to snuff for a modern playthrough. It's not perfect, but my God, the improvements are huge. Please let me know what you think. And I will urge you, please, if you like this, please support that channel in some way, whether becoming a member or doing a super thanks on a video that allows it or leaving a tip. The link, tip link is in the description of every video there. Um, I'm basically trying to make this viable. I'm trying to make that channel a long-term success. Right now, it's rough. I'm making a dollar a day on ad revenue and pretty much all I'm making on the channel is based on what I make on streams, on the retro replay stream, or retro react streams, excuse me. Uh, every once in a while, I do get a super thanks, and that's much appreciated to those who've done it. But <clears throat> I'm hoping very much that once a body of work is on that channel, meaning we've got multiple playthroughs, weekly streams, all kinds of content, now the channel will become way more financially viable. But right now, it's a lot of upfront work, and you know, I'm hoping people will give it a look. I really do. I, I think that the Fallout 3, I was like, whoa. I couldn't believe how dramatically different it looks from the original peach fuzz, crooked, awful run, you know? And it's cool because it's, it's the same gameplay. It's the same commentary. I, it's not someone else replaying the game like me. It's the real footage. It's just been, had a lot of work done to it, you know? Fed Rogers says, what about the music? For part one, we left the music in because we felt 
that song, you know, I don't want to set the world on fire. We felt leaving that in makes more sense for part one. I mean, that's the intro to the game. It, everyone remembers that intro. So it got claimed and I've disputed it. I don't know if I'm going to win the dispute. It's hit or miss on YouTube. If I win it, then I'll actually get some ad revenue on the video. If I lose it, then some other company owns the rights to my video. Uh, but moving forward, <clears throat> I am going to do my absolute best to see how we can get this to work. I don't know if it makes sense to have the music in every part because I used, I had the radio on a lot in that playthrough. So it could be like every video gets claimed. And obviously I don't want videos getting claimed. Claim is okay, blocked is bad. I don't want it muted or blocked. What was the point of putting all the effort into redoing the playthrough if the videos are muted or blocked, right? <clears throat> claimed, well, I'm not gonna make ad revenue on it. Well, right now I'm not making a lot of ad revenue on it anyway. It's not a huge deal. You would think over time, maybe the videos would get more traction and I would like to actually make money on my work over time, but it's not possible if the videos are claimed. We can see what we do there, but in reality, might just have to find a way to try to scrub the videos and edit the music out. And and it's possible, but for what I don't understand, it's not foolproof, nor is it easy to do. It's just more work. So I guess we'll see moving forward how many parts have a ton of music or not, and if it's worth it. We'll have to figure this out, okay? So anyway, all this is going on right now on DSP Throwback. The three-part, you know, reacting to the biggest videos ever series, the five-part Walking Dead Season 1 Episode 1 series, and Fallout 3. By the way, yeah, Final Fantasy 13 is continuing and it's going to be alternating back and forth with Fallout 3. So, I mean, there's a million things going on on that channel. It's, it's There's so much stuff. There's like three, four videos a day of new stuff on that channel. It's really cool. I like having that much content on the channel. It makes it exciting, right? Um, but I'll hope you watch it because, like I said, the channel doesn't get a lot of traction. No exaggeration. Every video gets a couple hundred views, basically. That's it. You know, I think eventually over time, it might get more traction if people are interested and want to check out retro stuff, but we got to get to that point. And I think like the more, like I said, it's about a body of work. You know, when I started on YouTube, I didn't have many videos. It was over time that I built up a body of work with these over, over even, even if like, for example, right now on DSP Gaming, you have to understand probably the vast majority of my views are legacy views. Meaning I have so many videos on this channel if I take a day off, I still get views on the channel because I have so many videos, people are watching the old stuff. And that's the goal with a channel like DSP Throwback, get enough content on there that there's hundreds to thousands of people just checking out retro stuff, even when I'm not doing new content, that you're still watching the other stuff that's on the channel. And that's what makes it end up being worthwhile and profitable over time. <clears throat> so let's see what happens. No! <laughs> 